Hey guys, I made a bunch of upgrades and improvements to my level editor system and before I show them to you, I'm going to show you the flaws uh, which were in the previous version. Um, so yeah, you could drag the grid in easily and then uh, open the grid window and then you could start placing blocks. However, as you may have noticed or heard, I am manually placing them one by one by clicking and that can be very tedious, especially if you're making like a long row of objects. Um, the same for when you wanted to delete a bunch of objects like let's say I wanted to delete um, these first bunch of them like I had to manually do this for each and yeah that's that's time wasted uh, as well as there was no way to flip objects so let's say I wanted to rotate this object around and place it to the top of the ceiling um, that wasn't possible because it would always snap to the bottom of the tile. Um, another issue with the previous editor was uh, you had to have the hand tool selected. If I had any other tool selected like the move tool and I would place an object somewhere it would automatically select that and I couldn't place or delete any more objects I had to manually select the grid again um, before I could do that and that's you know that's something that could really get on your nerves um, if you would forget to uh, select the hand tool or you know it just makes it user unfriendly um, so now uh, I'll show you what the new updates are so here it's the same thing you can easily drag in the grid open the grid window load in your prefabs um, but now you can instead of having to click each time and as you can see it it uh, doesn't matter anymore which tool you have selected. I can select the, the move tool, any tool, and it'll just place them. Um, I can just hold down a button and easily create a row of these objects. Same for deleting. Let's say I wanted to lower the roof to about here and don't need the top tiles again. I can just press another button, go over them very easily and very fast and remove them. Um, so um, I added in some some new gameplay elements, for example a gravity switch. Uh, when the player walks over this gravity switch, the, as the name might have given away, the gravity changes. Um, and if I walk over it here, the player will be walking uh, on the ceiling. Um, but there's no way for the player currently to get down. Uh, well, if I place another one here, uh, you know, that's not what I wanted. I wanted it to be uh, aligned to the wall. So you can just rotate around the center point of the tile by a middle mouse clicking on it and then it'll be uh, either to the top or on the bottom. Um, and let's say I wanted to make a pile of these smaller ones. As you can see, there would always be a gap in between them. Um, and uh, I found a nice way to solve this because I'm not storing these elements in an array, I'm um, just storing them in the scene. So I can just easily change my tile size and then start piling them up and then I can switch back at any point and I, I can still delete them. Also in the previous system you had to exactly click on an object in order to delete it but now uh, you just have to click anywhere in the tile and uh, it will be deleted. The way I did this is um, if I right click I do a ray cast from my screen position to the object and now I'm also doing a physics overlap sphere which is done from the center of the tile and which then keeps track of all the colliders of all the objects. Um, so yeah that's very handy that you don't have to exactly click on that object anymore. So then I can just play and everything will just work. And I can for example add a launch platform here. Oh, that's not a launch platform, let me open <laughs> the grid window again. Okay, there we go. Play again. Yeah. Um, so I hope you liked the update of uh, my level editor. If you have any features that you'd like to see um, or any recommendations uh, feel free to tell me and I'll try and get them integrated uh, okay so see you next time